Hi, I'm Michelle. I work in the Escort and Security Branch for Queensland Corrective Services. Before I started at QCS, I was a security officer and I worked throughout the hospital and I used to see Queensland Corrective Services come in with prisoners. Um, they looked quite professional, they looked like they knew what they were doing and I wanted to investigate what kind of role that they played. At the moment I currently work in two different locations, one being the escort unit, which is the transportation of prisoners and the other one being the PA Secure Hospital. So I start at 5.30 when I work out at Escorts. We'll open up the shed, we'll check everything's in order, we'll unlock everything. We start off with a manager brief. We go through what the expected day is going to be like. Um, we look at how many vehicles we've got, we look at staff, we look at locations we need to be at at certain times. We look at if there's any high risk moves, we look at anything to do with our day to day operations. So what will happen is we'll have a set amount of prisoners that we have to move throughout that day. Sometimes it can be 80 moves a day, 100 moves a day. We then allocate two staff to a vehicle. We allocate what centre they're picking up from. They will pick up from that centre and then they'll take them to either a medical appointment or a court appointment. Because it's such a dynamic role and everything changes at the drop of a hat, if there's a traffic accident, we have to change the plan. So if we have a team that we are expecting to do a pick up and a drop off at a certain centre and we have another team who's delayed, we'll then have to divert one team to go and collect their prisoners. So it's, a, it's really a dynamic changing environment where you have to be on the ball and, and make sure that everybody's getting to where they need to be at the time that they need to be there. I also work at the PA Secure Unit, which is a hospital for prisoners that come into QCS custody. We start the day off by liaising with Queensland Health, who we work alongside to ensure that the prisoners get their care and, and the medical attention that they need. They'll tell us who is currently in the secure unit. If anyone's expected to be discharged, we will then have to arrange transport for those people that have completed their care to, to return to their centres. They'll tell us what the expected duration of each prisoner's stay will be. That can change from day to day. One minute they can say they're going to be here overnight and then later on that night they're clear to go. Um, you know, they, they need to be returned to their centres. The most rewarding part of my job is the camaraderie that you get within your team. The unit is quite a close-knit unit. Everyone knows everyone, um, everyone works with everyone and everyone's got each other's backs. We're out on the road with prisoners as opposed to being in a centre, which produces more of a risk to not only yourselves, it produces a risk to the prisoners and it produces a risk to the public. When we say we're protecting the community, we really are, because we're out on the road and we're ensuring the safety and security of everyone that's there.